Welcome everyone, today we are looking over the Zebra Elite Strap and Zebra Neck Power Bank. These were sent out by the company, they have no say in what I say about their products, but still, nonetheless, let's jump into it, starting off with the Elite Strap. Now, I'm not going to be putting this on my VR headset, because I have already tested it out, I've just put it back in the box to do all the unboxing and talk about it, same with the battery strap. Moving on with the Elite Strap outer packaging, and then the inside packaging looks like some sort of Amazon box, but that's what majority of companies do, because it keeps the prices down. So moving straight in you get elite strap which is it is just the strap itself that comes with the twisty knob bit here you get your head strap which is made of this nice silicon rubber and then the top rest is made of this spongy material which is like a pvc leather they're very much similar to every other brand out there they clip onto the sides and that is pretty much it like i said i've tested it out the rubber at the back here feels very comfortable on the back of the head it's curved to the shape of the head some of them aren't like this sort of shape they have a weird skull shape i don't know what it is but it doesn't fit the head this one does fit the head because it is the standard skull you know it's round so it works then in here you get your user manual just to tell you how to set it up very very simple it's not that hard so i don't think many people would need to look at that unless you're brand new to vr one thing they do supply you though is this nice microfiber cloth for your lenses which a lot of companies don't actually think about but lenses steam up they get dusty they get dirty having this super super fine microfiber cloth really really does hit the nail on the head when it comes to accessories for vr because you don't want to scratch the lenses if you if you scratch the lenses that's it they're done for they're ruined that is the head strap the one thing i must say is i don't understand why they've got the battery strap little attachment here for the cable because this isn't the battery strap version i don't see the necessary need for having that on there but you can obviously take it off if you don't want it on there i mean it is a nice little touch to have just in case you do get some sort of battery strap that you need one of those. The only thing I've noticed as well that I didn't really like was it doesn't make the clicky sound on the way out, but on the way in, it makes a very loud, noticeable noise. On the way out again, it makes no noise at all. Gives it a little bit more of a cheapness sound when you can hear that when you're tightening it compared to just the smooth, no sound at all. Now, apparently these are very flexible and they can bend without snapping. As you can see, I'm I'm going for it. Like, this isn't like the Elite Strap that Meta bring out where if you bend it, it's gonna snap. Not not under this, not with this at all. So very, very well built. If you're looking for just an Elite Strap, I definitely recommend this. And it also has that turn. It's not like the standard Elite Strap that's just plain plastic. This gives you that option to lift up the headset from your face. And moving on to the one thing I was very cautious about, the neck power bank, because I hate things getting in the way if I'm VR gaming. So this thing here, let's open it up, show you what the box is like. So again, it comes with this outer packaging and then the inside packaging is just a plain box. And then inside the box, you get your neck battery, a USB to USB-C cable, and also a USB to USB-C cable that is at a 90 degree angle to keep it out of the way, which I really do like. So this one here is for the charging. This one here is to have it one in your headset and one on your neck. So it's a very nice minimalistic cable. The cable's not so much noticeable, because it's so small, it does go nicely into the headset and into the neck charger. The only thing I noticed is the charger itself. It is very heavy on these ends here. Um, so I wasn't too keen with having that around my neck because when it's on your neck, you just, you know it's there. It's got this nice soft rubber around the top. So it doesn't hurt, it doesn't get annoying. It's just one, it's heavy and two, you can notice these bits here. That will go into this bit and then once it's around your neck, this bit will go into a quest like so. Now, like I mentioned, it's just this bit here. They're heavy. You don't feel it on your neck. It's more on your chest. When you're moving around and you're playing some VR games, you feel this sort of juddering about hitting you in the chest a bit. And I mean, they're heavy batteries. They're not, they're not lightweight. So when you are like proper, ah, see like that. When you're proper going for it, like turning and doing all your jazz, you bosh yourself in the face with the batteries. Now, don't get me wrong. It charges the quest really well. It does its job. So as you can see, it's got 2% charge. I have been using this on my Quest just to obviously test it out. And that's the only thing I can fault is the fact that these are so heavy around your neck. After a while, you sort of feel a bit, I wouldn't say it's weighted. I wouldn't say it's, you know, heavy on the neck. It's, it's just irritatable after a while when you can feel these going at you. But again, it does its job. It's what it's there for. If you want extra life on your Quest, then something like this is very versatile. You can actually get along with it. 
it's just if you're like me and get irritated by something so small, this wouldn't probably be the best idea. One, I don't really like cables. I hate cables. So having them come in, like these cables here, they bug me. But having cables like coming down from your face into the Quest just gets in the way. It's rather annoying. I guess you could technically use on the Elite Strap this little holder here to push that cable in, get it into your Quest, but then you've still got this long cable dangling down to your neck. And when you try and turn, you feel it pulling. You know what I mean? So like say, let me let me get it to the exact length of where it would go. So that's gonna go inside the quest here, right? This is now on your head like so with the quest on the front, this cable in here. But when it's on your head and you're turning, there's a bit of slight tension just at the back here because obviously it's pulling the uh, the charger block. So that's one thing maybe you could just use it along the cable. Technically, you don't even really have to wear this around your neck. You could put it in your pocket having the cable come out of your pocket round the back up to the headset, but that just makes it even more hassle. So I would say for me, this wouldn't work if you are a extreme VR gamer, if you are one of those people that are really, really into fast moving games, because again, these just, they swing around like crazy. But I mean, if you're doing more sit down, relaxing games, then yeah, this right here would be a game changer. This right here would be something that's so versatile and so useful. But for me, I play a lot of games like Ghost of Tabor, Contra, Actors showdown things like that so it's a lot of fast paced moving and this for me doesn't really work too well but that's just my opinion i think they're great solid products don't get me wrong it charges the quest this feels comfy i just have a battery one instead so that's the reason i've taken this one back off it's not the fact i didn't like it or the fact i didn't want to wear it just the fact i have one that already does what both of these products do let's go over the price of these things i mean the build quality again very well built don't get me wrong they are very well built indeed let's go over the price starting off with the Elite Strap. The Elite Strap's gone down from 40 down to 24 pounds with their little Hello 10 coupon. And then the battery strap has, I believe, gone from 64 pounds down to 20. That right there is a huge save, which to be fair, at the moment on their website, their Elite Strap with the battery already attached is coming in at 44 pounds. So instead of buying them both, you might be able to save a pretty penny and at the moment get the one with the battery pack. But if not, then the best option is to go for both of these and create your own somewhat battery elite strap. Again, I just want to say a massive thank you to Zeba, not Zeba, Zyber, for sending these products out. I really do appreciate it. It's great to test new products and new markets as well. So just a huge thank you really for sponsoring this video. If you want to check any of these products out, they will be linked in the description. If you have any questions or any alternatives that you use yourself, leave them in the comments below and let's start a conversation. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And always remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.